Hello, what's up YouTube? Bronix with it and I'm sure in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys the best ways to sharpen your images in Photoshop. Remember, sharpening is really very important. If at all you want to end up with a really nice and detailed image, maybe for social media. So let me show you guys the best way to sharpen your images. And remember, the very first thing about sharpening, you have to sharpen specific areas of the image. You don't want to sharpen the overall image because it's going to be looking weird and we don't want to sharpen for beauty portraits we don't want to sharpen areas like uh, the lips right here so just don't want to sharpen those areas and maybe you don't want to sharpen the hair of the model because it's going to be looking really weird and for the image we are going to be using today is taken by Oscar Antegui and I'm going to put his YouTube link in the description of this video so that you guys can check him out he's an amazing tutor and you can learn so much from him regarding Photoshop and skin retouching. So let's kick in and start learning about how to sharpen images. So the very first method is going to be using frequency separation to sharpen your images in Photoshop. So in order to learn how to use frequency separation or to create your own actions, because for this case, I don't want to do the detailed frequency separation process of separating the layers. I just want to play my frequency separation action. So I'm just going to come right here under the actions. I'm just going to play my 8-bit action. So since this is an 8-bit image right here, I'm just going to come to the actions. And I'm going to play my 8-bit frequency separation action. So for this case, all the radius, you always have to make sure that you move the radius up to a point when you're losing out on the details in the image. So for this case, I think we're going to be using a radius of around 6.0. And this point is when you lose out on the uh, details in the skin area of this particular image. So just come and simply hit OK. And you can notice that in my frequency separation group, I usually have a black and white layer. So for this case, we are not going to be needing this layer. So I'm just going to select it and just drag it to the trash can icon. So remember when you're sharpening, sharpening is more of enhancing the details in a particular image. So in order to enhance those details, we have to first of all select the layer that is containing uh, the details in the image. And for this case, in frequency separation, details are usually embedded in the high frequency layer. So come and select the high frequency layer. And after it has been selected, simply hit Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard after this layer has been selected. So when you hit Ctrl J or Command J, it is going to create a copy from the high frequency layer. So if at all you don't want to use that shortcut, you can simply, I'm just going to undo, you can simply drag and drop to this new layer icon to create a copy out of the high frequency layer. And this is going to be overly or over sharpened as you can see. It is going to sharpen the overall image. It may really be looking not nice at all. So in order to have the best results, so that we can sharpen particular areas of an image, you're going to come and simply hit or press on this mask icon, just like this. So when you select it, you're going to get a white mask. Remember, all the sharpening has been revealed through this white mask right here. So we want to invert or hide the sharpening from the overall image by hitting, make sure this white mask is selected. So simply hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard, Ctrl I or Command I to hide the effect. So you can see it has been hidden away from the image. So in order to sharpen the image really well and nice, you can simply come. So we have two options right here, black and white. And if I told you don't have black and white, simply come and click on these, these two tiny boxes right here to get black and white. So make sure you have white on top of black so in order to switch you can use x on the keyboard just press x on the keyboard to get white on top then come under the brushes and get your brush tool so when you get this brush tool you can simply come to the opacity and make sure it is 100 percent the flow at 100 make sure the smooth thing is at zero so remember in photoshop black hides that's why it hid the sharpening out of the image and white is going to be revealing the sharpening back into the image so just increase on the size of the brush 
by using the box brackets on the keyboard. So the left box bracket reduces on the size of the brush and the right box bracket is going to increase on the size of the brush tool. So simply left click and hold down and start painting. For example, just want to sharpen maybe a skin area of the model. So don't mind if at all it is sharpening or doing so much of the sharpening process. So just paint just like that. Reduce on the size. So for sharpening, we don't want to sharpen the eyebrows. So just make sure you avoid sharpening the eyebrows. Maybe you can come and sharpen right there and sharpen the eyes even more. And you can see it is really introducing so much detail into the image. So I'm just going to continue sharpening uh, those areas. So you can even come and sharpen right here, just like that to enhance the image even more. So I'm just going to do this to the extreme so that you guys can see the results are from this sharpening process. So I think uh, that looks fine to me. So right here you can see where you have been able to sharpen and you can reduce on the size and just come and sharpen this area too. So in order to eliminate sharpening from an area, you can simply come and get black on top. So this is going to be erasing the effect or hiding the sharpening effect from particular areas. So I'm just going to unsharpen right there. So let's see the before and after for the sharpening process. So this is the before and after, before, after. It has really been sharpened and you can see the difference uh, in the sharpening. But I feel like this is too much. So just simply come to the opacity and uh, simply reduce on the opacity depending on your liking. So for this case, I'm just going to go with around 52 and that looks really nice and okay to me and it is not looking artificial. So let's see the overall sharpening for uh, the frequency separation method of sharpening images in Photoshop. So simply come and see the before, after, before, after. So I'm just going to delete this because we want to learn about the second method of how to sharpen your images in Photoshop. So the second method is going to be using the high pass method. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this kind of sharpening method. So I'm just going to come and duplicate the background layer by hitting Ctrl or Command J on the keyboard to create a new layer. So I can name that layer maybe sharpening. So after I've renamed that layer, I'm going to simply come to filter, then come to, down to other and come to high pass. So when you come to high pass, this is where you have to feed in the right information. You have to use a radius of between 0 0.1 to around 1.5 because you don't want to over sharpen the image. So just come and simply, I'm just going to be using around 1.3. So if at all I hit com command plus, you can see the sharpening effect on this gray kind of layer. I'm just going to hit command minus and simply hit OK, just like that. So in order to get back the image the way it was meant to look before, come and change the blend mode from normal and look for vivid light. So, so when you come to that option, you can see the before and the after for the sharpening process. And like I said, if at all you want to eliminate sharpening from particular areas that you don't want to be sharpened in this image, you can simply hit the mask icon right here and make sure the white mask is selected and hit Ctrl or Command I on the keyboard to hide the effect from the overall image. Then come and get your brush tool, just to be a soft round brush. Go past at 100 and the flow at 100. Make sure the smoothing is at zero if at all you have this option. Then come and make sure you have black and white right here by clicking on this option. So you can get white on top by using these arrows. And now increase on the size by using the brackets, the box brackets rather, and start painting over those areas you want sharpened in uh, your image. So I'm just going to sharpen maybe the skin area and I don't want the lips to be sharpened for this case so I'm just going to do that and you can see that it is adding some sharpening effect onto every single area I'm trying to paint using a white brush to reveal the effect hidden behind this black mask so just do that and 
when we are done doing the sharpening uh, you are going to see uh, how the image is going to look so I'm just going to do this and sharpen those areas so I think let me sharpen a little bit here so you can see the before and after before after you can see the effect and if at all you feel like the sharpening effect is too much let me zoom in so that you can see before and after this is the before after before after and if at all you feel that the effect is too much for your liking you can simply come and reduce on the opacity or turn it down to the one of your liking and guys these are the two ways i would recommend for sharpening your images in photoshop and if at all maybe you have another area you can drop it down in the comment section so that i can learn from you and you can learn from me ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating